As we gather in worship here in the cathedral and joining with those who will be worshipping with us from home. In the name of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is, he is risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia! Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Stand. As we meet in Christ's name, let us share his peace. God is love, and we are God's children. There is no room for fear in love. We love because God loved us first. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith. God our Father, we confess to you and to our fellow members in the body of Christ that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. We are truly sorry. Forgive us our sins, and deliver us from the power of evil, for the sake of your Son, who died for us, Jesus Christ our Lord. God, who is both power and love, forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by the Holy Spirit, and raise you to new life. In Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, in your great goodness, grant that we, as pilgrims through the Easter mysteries, may hold them fast in our lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. Our first reading is taken from Acts. Then the high priest took action, he and all who were with him, that is, the sect of the Sadducees, being filled with jealousy, arrested the apostles and put them in the public prison. But during the night, an angel of the Lord opened the prison doors, brought them out and said, go, stand in the temple and tell the people the whole message about this life. When they heard this, they entered the temple at daybreak and went on with their teaching. When the high priest and those with him arrived, they called together the council and the whole body of the elders of Israel, and sent to the prison to have them brought. But when the temple police went there, they did not find them in prison. So they returned and reported, We found the prison securely locked and the guards standing at the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. Now when the captain of the temple and the chief priests heard these words, they were perplexed about them, wondering what might be going on. Then someone arrived and announced, Look, the men whom you put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. Then the captain went with the temple police and brought them, but without violence, for they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. 
Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to Christ, Christ our Saviour. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Those who believe in him are not condemned, but those who do not believe are condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the judgment, that the light has come into the world, and people loved darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For all who do evil hate the light, and do not come to the light, so that their deeds may not be exposed. But those who do what is true come to the light, so that it may be clearly seen that their deeds have been done in God. Give thanks to the Lord for his glorious gospel. Praise to Christ our Lord. Let us pray. God, thank you that you loved us so deeply that you would spare your only son and send him to die for us. Give us eyes to see your light in us and your light in this world, that we might live more fully for you and share your incredible gospel message. Give us courage as we go out from here today. In your mercy, we pray for all those within the SEC, for Mark, our Primus, for Keith, our Bishop-elect, and for all those who lead worship and prayer in our churches and in our communities. Give them insight and wisdom as they lead. We pray for churches around the world as they provide care, support and worship for their communities. And we pray that those who meet in fear and secret may be strengthened by your Holy Spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are suffering the devastating effects of our climate crisis. God, give us the courage to act now, and act in a way that benefits all. Help us to see creation as you see it, and to understand our responsibility to care for it. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are preparing businesses for reopening. For those who are worried about upcoming changes. For those who are delighted. We pray for those who are struggling to provide for their families. God, we thank you for the work of charities and local people helping those who need it. God, we draw in community around those who are in need of that support. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick in mind, body, or spirit. We pray for those who are carers, those who work in hospitals, care homes, hospices, and assisted living. We remember in prayer all who are mourning the loss of loved ones. At this time, remembering the Queen and Royal Family, mourning the loss of the Duke of Edinburgh. May they know your comfort in sorrow. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We bring all of our prayers, spoken and unspoken, to the feet of Jesus. Thank you. 
Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Worship and praise belong to you, author of all being. Your power sustains. Your love restores our broken world. You are unceasingly at work, from chaos bringing order and filling emptiness with life. Christ, raised from the dead, proclaims the dawn of hope. He lives in us that we may walk in light. Your spirit is fire in us. Your breath is power to purge our sin and warm our hearts to love. As children of your redeeming purpose, freed by him who bursts from the tomb and opened the gate of life, we offer you our praise with angels and archangels and the whole company of heaven, sharing the hymn of your unending glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Praise and thanksgiving be to you, Lord of all, for by the cross eternal life is ours, and death is swallowed up in victory. In the first light of Easter, glory broke from the tomb and changed the women's sorrow into joy. From the garden, the mystery dawned that he whom they had loved and lost is with us now in every place forever. Making himself known in the breaking of the bread, speaking peace to the fearful disciples, welcoming weary fishermen on the shore, he renewed the promise of his presence and of new birth in the Spirit, who sets the seal of freedom on your sons and daughters. Before he was given up to suffering and death, recalling the night of Israel's release, the night in which slaves walked free, at supper with his disciples, he took bread and offered you thanks. He broke the bread and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat. This is my body. It is broken for you. After supper, he took the cup. He offered you thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant. It is poured out for you and for all that sins may be forgiven. Do this in remembrance of me. We now obey your son's command. We recall his blessed passion and death. <coughs> his glorious resurrection and ascension, and we look for the coming of his kingdom. Made one with him, we offer you these gifts, and with them ourselves, a single holy living sacrifice. Hear us, most merciful Father, and send your Holy Spirit upon us and upon this bread and this wine that overshadowed by his life-giving power, they may be the body and blood of your Son, 
and we may be kindled with the fire of your love and renewed for the service of your kingdom. Help us, who are baptised into the fellowship of Christ's body, to live and work to your praise and glory. May we grow together in unity and love, until at last in your new creation we enter into our heritage, in the company of the Virgin Mary, the Apostles and Prophets, and of all our brothers and sisters, living and departed. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be to you, Lord of all ages, world without end. Amen. The living bread is broken for the life of the world. Lord, unite us in this song. As our Saviour Christ has commanded and taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever.
Give thanks to our gracious God, whose mercy endures forever. Father, you restored us to life by raising your Son from death. May we who receive this sacrament always be strengthened to do your will. In the name of Jesus Christ, the risen Lord. Amen. The God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the eternal covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia. In the name of Christ. Alleluia. Thank you, Mr. Gilbert.